And welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing Anaya's makeup and we're going to be doing like a pink cut crease sort of look. I haven't been doing many cut creases recently, so I thought that we should do one. Um, I'm starting off with brows, just taking the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. And then I'm going in with the P. Louise Eye Base. So I'm going to be carving out underneath her eyebrows as I always do. And also using this um, as an eye base too. Um, when I'm using this product, I like to pat it onto her lid because that way it kind of gives like, you can kind of tell when you're using it, it, you can see it almost setting down and not looking as shiny as it did before. The palette that I'm going to be taking today is the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival XL Pro Palette and I'm starting off with the shades Reckless and Persuasion mixed together. I'm using this as a really deep color to, um, has kind of like, that's going to be my darkest color apart from a little bit of black that I'll apply later on. Um, but just to kind of make sure that when I do the cut crease, it really pops and the color really pops with the dark color from behind it, if that makes sense. And then using Wasted to kind of blend out that those colors slightly and then also a little bit of Foolish just to even more blend those colors out as well. Um, just with a super light hand because obviously Foolish is quite bright. Um, I did add a little bit of Keen in the outer corner and inner corner. Um, I wasn't too happy with how it turned out, but when I added a pink into it as well later on, it looked a lot better. For the um, cut crease, I'm taking the P. Louise and Mama Mitchell um, Acid Rain products and I'm taking blank canvas and raver mixed together um, and I'm just using a flat brush and then I set that with pep talk. I'm then applying some of the NYX glitter glue and I'm going to be taking the Inglot pigment, no the Inglot body sparkles in XL7 and I'm applying that over the top. It's like an iridescent purple. I then use the Inglot gel liner to line her lash line and I'm just applying some um, AliExpress lashes. Oh and I also just added a little bit of darkness in the outer corner. Then I'm applying the P. Louise base underneath her eye and I'm going to be applying the same shades that I used on the top on the bottom so it's nice and even. Then I'm going to be taking the Inglot Gel Liner in 77 and I'm going to be using this to line her waterline. I'm then going to be taking Lights Out from the same palette and just using this to make sure there's no gap between the, um, light, oh my God, the liner and the waterline and the eyeshadow. Then for the base, I'm taking the... Benefit Matte Rescue Primer and also the uh, Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer as she did have a little bit of dry skin so just pop that on the rest of the face. Then for foundation as she didn't have too much of a tan on I just used Light Beige um, from Too Faced Born This Way and I mixed that in with um, Snow as well just to kind of lighten it down slightly and I'm just applying this with the Dirty 30 sponge. As you all know I love these sponges so much they are like amazing. Then for concealer, I took the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light and the NARS Concealer in Custard, just so it's not too light and it's also not too dark for the foundation. Then I'm just blending that out with a smaller Dirty 30 sponge and setting it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and also applying a little bit to her laugh lines and really blending that in as well. Then for cream contour, I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick, as I always do because I'm obsessed with it, um, in Cool Almond, and I'm just going to be applying this like to obviously the contour areas, the forehead and like the cheekbones and stuff, um, and just pushing this in with the Hourglass Foundation Brush. I love this brush too, it makes everything look really flawless. Then I'm applying the Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder in the shade Darkest Brown to her face, as I like things to be set down, I feel like everything lasts longer. Um, then just applying some Hoola Benefit Bronzer, which is one of my faves as well, and MAC Give Me Sun, just slightly patting it in. I also did bring this down a little bit on her neck and chest just to make sure we we're kind of all matching. Then wiping away the under eye bake of whatever's left of it, and I'm just applying Warm Soul and, um, from MAC and Hot Mama from The Balm. Then I'm applying highlighter, so I'm taking the Oh Darling from MAC. And also the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighting Powder. I've been obsessed with this as well. Then I'm going to be um, blending out the P. Louise Eye Base and just using some of the lighter shades, so like Foolish and also Pep Talk, to really blend out that eyeshadow, kind of give it a more blown out look. Then I applied MAC Vanilla Pigment first for the inner corner and then Nylon over the top just to give it that little bit of an extra pop. Then for the brows to set them, I'm taking the Boho Brows from G-Rocks Brows and I'm just setting the brows into place. It just makes them look a little bit fluffier as well. It's amazing. 
Then I'm lining her lips with the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil and I'm just going to be applying the Honey Love Lipstick from MAC as well because it's one of my faves and I, when I do a pink look I tend to do more of like a pinkier lipstick and Honey Love's a tiny bit pinkier than Yash. Then just applying the, um, oh my god, the Laura Mercier Glow Powder and some setting spray. Also fixing up the eyebrows a tiny bit, applying mascara because I forgot. And here we have the completed look. I was obsessed with how this look turned out. I hope you guys liked it too. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!